hi guys today I'm doing the 50 things that I've done tag um, I actually struggled to think of 50 things it's really bad isn't it when you have to think of 50 things that you think would be interesting to tell people it's I found it really hard I haven't really done that much exciting stuff so I've got my list of 50 not all of them are nice but I hope you enjoy it 50 things I've done in my life I'm not gonna number them because it's stupid okay had a baby Lost two babies. Had an operation on my eye. Look, is it this one? I always forget which one it is. That's bad, isn't it? I think it's this one. I had to have a bit of my pupil cut out and it ran. So everybody's like, oh my God, have you got a contact lens in? No, it's my eye and I was nearly blinded. Urgh. I got married. Yee, got married. I met someone on the internet. That's where I met my husband on the internet. Bad, isn't it? But anyway. Um, taken my driving test. Didn't pass, but I've taken it. Kissed a girl. Not through choice. She kissed me, and I, well, bleh. I've got nothing against kissing girls, just, actually I've kissed two girls. One of them I enjoyed, one of them I really didn't. Worked for the same company for nine years. How bad. It's good, because it means I'm loyal, but it also means that I haven't been able to find anything else. I lost my nan when I was 17, and I got my tattoo for her. Damn it, that's what I should have put in. That I've got tattoos. I've got one. That was three tattoos, but it's all been made into one. Then I've got that one, and then I've got my Imogen on my back that you've seen before. Okay, become a nail technician. Worn three different types of hair extensions. Not all at the same time. Clip-ins, glue-ins, and then the proper singular glued-in ones that you get done at the hairdressers. I've lost lots of friends, not through my choice. They've either got partners and moved on or they've listened to other people rather than me. Made some friends on YouTube. I've made some brilliant friends on YouTube and I just need to actually keep talking to them now because I, I seem to not get time to talk to them, which sucks, but I have made some great friends on YouTube. Um, I've done a YouTube contest, which was won by... Elaine. Elaine won my YouTube contest. It was for a ring. I've won three, no that's four, three YouTube contests and I'm really chuffed and excited so thanks. I've had two partners in my whole life. My ex, not going to talk about my ex, but I was with him and then I got with Mark. But I've only ever had two partners in my life. I've been to Disneyland Paris three times when I was six, eight and sixteen. I've lived in four different places. I lived with my mum and dad for like 20 years and then I moved into a flat with Mark and then a bungalow and now the house we're in. I've spent more than £400 on one item in one go, which was my iPhone. Oops. I finally got my first MAC product, which is my lipstick, which is Saint Germain. I love it. It's lush. And I also finally got my Naked Palette, just as the Naked Palette 2 was coming out, but hey-ho. I had prisoners break out on my ninth birthday. We were in a rugby club having a, a birthday party when I was nine and it's right next door to the prison and all the prisoners, there, there were six prisoners broke out and they were running around on the field outside where we were. We had to be locked in, we had armed police, it was a mess, it was all in the papers. But luckily nobody got hurt and we were all fine and they all got caught and got put back in prison. I turned on the Christmas lights in my town the same year because the mayoress thought it was really bad what had happened to me and she felt really bad. So she said, do you want to turn on the Christmas lights? And when you're nine years old, you're like, hell yeah. So I got to ride in Santa's sleigh and turn on the lights. I met Dan Thousand and some of you younger viewers will be like, who's Dan Thousand? But if you are a bit of an older viewer or you are an avid Neighbours fan and have been since it first started, you will know that Dan Thousand used to play Rick Alessi in Neighbours. And I met him. I did. I met him. Um, I became an Avon rep, which I still am. And I also upgraded to a sales leader, but I didn't like it, so I stepped back down. I lost two stone. But actually I've lost two and a half stone now. I've like lost Immy, which is quite funny. I had a caesarean. I've never been in labour, which sucks. But anyway, I've only ever had one hangover in my life and I felt like I was dying. So I'm never going to have a hangover again. I'm still going to drink, but I'm never going to have a hangover again. Um, I won a trophy for coming second in netball when I was in year 
six or five five or six and our team came second and we won a trophy Woo sporty you can tell by my physique that i'm sporty i've been on the radio i requested a song and i got played on the radio which was quite cool i've also been on disney channel now this was years ago and i rang up to say that my nan was the oldest viewer and um, i didn't win but i did get to talk on the disney channel which is cool I organise charity events at work. We have a different charity every year and the year that's just gone has been Alzheimer's and then the year that's coming up is going to be um, cancer research and I've already planned what I want to do because we always have one day where we dress up and then because it's cancer research I want to do one day every month for a specific colour so like pink for breast cancer etc. I've seen Ray Quinn live twice. If you don't know who Ray Quinn is, then shame on you. He was a runner-up in um, The X Factor, the year that Leona Lewis won, and he's now like touring in all these different shows. I think at the moment he's in Legally Blonde, but I'm not too sure. I'm sure that's where he is. I know he was going into it, but I don't know. He also won Dancing on Ice a couple of years ago, which was cool. I saw him once in his concert and once in Panto and he was actually like talking to us because we were on the front row so that was quite cool. Um, I've seen Grease, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Bombay Dreams all in London like on the stage. I was in a parade in Disneyland which was really cool. Well, I wasn't actually in the parade. <laughs> My aunt has got a dance school and her dancers won a competition in London and they got to be in the parade in Disneyland so we sort of were like supporting them on the side. So okay, let's change that. I knew people who were in a parade in Disneyland which isn't quite as impressive but I still, I'm impressed anyway. I took piano lessons for GCSE music. I also took organ lessons when I was younger because for some reason I had like one of them organs like la 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 la. Phantoms. Anyway, I owned an acoustic and an electric guitar, a pink electric guitar, might I add. Had the amp and everything, but I never took guitar lessons, and now my dad has both of them in his house. I've toasted marshmallows over an open fire, and then we put them in between two digestive biscuits, and it was gorgeous, but this was quite a few years ago. Um... I went camping in the smallest tent imaginable, me and Mark, both quite large people in a very small tent. It rained, we got wet, it was horrible. And what I didn't know was that at the time I was pregnant with Immy. I've been pregnant three times. Work that one out. I created a YouTube channel and I've become obsessed with YouTube ever since, which isn't good, but anyway. I bought my iPhone 4 outright. I didn't get a contract on it. I bought it. 430 quid this friggin' thing cost me. But I love it. I blinged out my camera. This is what I used to record on. I don't anymore. But this is what I used to record on. And I blinged it out all by myself. I got a glass stem stuck in my leg. I actually have a wound. I can't get my leg up high enough. Hang on, I'm going to move you. Look, can you see that? My wall wound. I broke a glass and um, I broke a glass and I knelt down on the floor to pick it up and the stem that was like that long went straight into my leg. That was fun. Um, I've gone up and down the stairs in my parents' house on a stair lift. So much fun. And if you've done a basket of washing and you need to take it upstairs, send it up on the stair lift. You don't even have to carry it great can I just add we weren't lazy we had my great grandmother living with us and she couldn't do the stairs anymore bless her that's why we had a stair lift not a lazy family I can assure you I have got replies on YouTube from both Blonde Sun Doll and Pink Sparkles I got a reply from Blonde Sun Doll on one of her videos and I got an actual email from Pink Sparkles so I was like oh my god to me that's like talking to Will Smith or something. It's like major. Um, I've got 14 followers on Twitter and 89 subscribers on YouTube, which doesn't sound a lot, but to me, I'm chuffed that 14 people want to read my Twitter. I don't really even do Twitter properly, but 14 people want to talk to me on Twitter and 89 people want to watch my videos. So thank you. Thanks, guys. And last but not least, number 50, that's 10. Last but not least, number 50, 
I made this video. I hope you enjoyed this guys and I really want you to all do one as well and leave it in the down bar below. No, you can't, can you? Leave it in the video response down below. I'll see you all soon. Bye babies. Bye.